Hey everyone, Nick here. Hope you guys are all doing well. And in the last seven years, clean energy has since become the saving grace of humanity. And I mean that quite literally. When you think of oil drilling or fossil fuel droughts or just climate change in general, all of these point to a great inability to sustain gasoline driven growth in the world. And it's since made renewable energy a very lucrative industry. Today, I want to discuss two of the biggest players in the field, Tesla and SolarCity, who've recently joined forces in a collaborative effort to pretty much fundamentally change the way we interact and harness the energy around us. Their most recent effort to power the island of Tao using exclusively solar power presents us with a tinge of hope. Tesla and SolarCity are showing us that a future where renewable energy pervades us is imminent and necessary, not just optional. Let's check it out. Tao is a pretty quaint little island in the American Samoa that's honestly defined more by its lacking Wikipedia page and very small population of 800 rather than its emerging role as the brainchild of Elon Musk. But nonetheless, its claim to fame are the numerous diesel generators that have been powering the island for years. For one, the diesel generators are incredibly old, and two, they are monstrously inefficient, where one diesel generator burns 110,000 gallons of gas a year. Tesla, now with all of SolarCity under its belly, saw Tau as the prime picking to demonstrate its joint battery technology, and the rest is history. By installing 5,300 solar panels and integrating them with 60 Tesla power packs, which can hold six megawatt hours of storage, Tau can now be powered for up to three days without the slightest glimmer of sunlight. That all being said, it's pretty hard now to not imagine a future, a diesel free future, mind that, where everything is being powered not by technologies that are going to drive us into the ground, but from the world's most abundant source of energy. It's a truly incredible way of thinking. Beyond all the technicalities though, I love this idea for its sheer sense of novelty, ambition, and promise. I think that so many of us often dismiss clean and renewable energy not for its great potential, but simply because the way we live our lives in so many ways opposes this new type of technology. When we think about how we're going to get to work or get back from work, or generally how we live, gas and diesel are such big parts of that that we often are afraid almost of what clean and renewable energy can bring to the table. But if you learn anything from this video, it should be that while you may not be living this great and wonderful renewable energy driven life, you have to acknowledge its potential. Just think of a world where nearly everything is powered by an infinite source of energy, one that is constantly making us better. If you can do that, I think we're all fine. And until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for making it this far. Click my links down below to read my Huffington Post articles and follow me on social media when you can. Thanks, guys.